fantastic, baby. What Big you, up yourself, you, queen. Big you up yourself. Who you calling I'm from? In, I'm in Denver. Shout out to Denver. It's cold up there? It, it's kind of chilly right now, but it's still good. Oh, it's still okay. a great day. It's beautiful outside right now. What's I'm actually question? picking. Oh, uh, yeah. So here's my question. I had a sneaker link. Like, we, um, we actually took each other's virginity when we were younger. Okay, hold we on. We grew up, went oh, our own way. What? You have a man? I don't have no man. I don't want one. Okay, so why you say you had a sneaky link? Because he got a bitch. Can somebody put your face with the No. You don't think the no? I mean, come on now, bitch, right? No, she no, can't no, know because no. okay, so let me tell you, let me let me let, let, let me lay it out. Let me lay it out, Queen. Go ahead. Go ahead. We took each other's virginity when we were younger. Go we ahead. went our own ways when we got older. Okay. Like sick. Like she's bedridden. Like she got sick. We're young. <laughs> what is she sick with? So she can't look on social media? No, I don't know what she could do. I don't oh even God. care. Is she really uh, sick or is that something he No, like really sick. Like he's her caregiver. Like he have nurses coming in. Like she wears the diapers. Oh, God. But he okay. told me. Okay, we go were ahead. good until he told me he has for her. When he told me he has for her and she's in depends, it like turned me completely the fuck off, right? So. <laughs> Where is this question going? <laughs> like, I don't know how to tell him. Like, he turned me off. Like, I don't know. I, I need to know just. I don't want to be for about it, though. You know what I mean? Because he called me, he'd be like, Tony, I need to see you. I need to talk to you. I need to convey in you. And I'd be curving him. I'd be curving him, right? But I need to just tell him. And I don't know how to tell him because I really don't want to hurt him. Like, you turned me off when you told me you had to that lady. Well, I mean, did he at least wash up his person before he hit it? Did Man, he this dude done got, he done, he's, not, he's not hot like he used to be. Like, he done got fat and shit. His, his ping ain't pinging. And then he done had sex with the lady with the pants on. All right. We ain't going to let her go for another second. She talking a lot of yin yang. Obviously, she blow completely out just from her jawline. <laughs> all right. And and we can and we can imagine that he's blowed out because she just said it. And this guy's his wife is bedridden with diapers. And this is wow. This is what I be meaning about the context. Oh man, Chris would come early. Listen here, I'm here for the for the viscera and madness. This look at her. <laughs> she said that that chunky funky nug nug turned her off. She out here hunting on another woman's man. Admittedly, like oh he my sneaky link. I ain't got a man, but he got a chick, and it was all cool that he was cheating on his beer written lady. Some woman he uh well, he, leeches. He said she said oh, man he keeps sleeping with that woman like that ain't his wife, Mister Walker. She can call her. She said he disgusted me by sleeping with that woman. Oh, that's his wife. She's sick. Tell me she got on. See, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's not a woman. We are. That's a y'all know that's a handsome boy. <laughs> no, everyone's with Tracy. Yeah, see, what <laughs> see what I'm saying? That's why I be saying the whole these situations be funky. Like, I mean, for real. Everybody stank. They all stank. She stank. The post sister in the pens, you know what I mean? Obviously. And then the, the, that ninja, that nug nug, they all funky. This is madness. And look at her. She's like, oh, I'm turned off by him because he messing with his wife. No, she. I'm better than that. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to let Big Bone Bone Quisha here keep cooking. Oh. What it depends on? <laughs> you think he's going to watch this show? I don't give a fuck if he do. Maybe this will be the way he find out. I don't want it. Because <laughs> I don't want to be mean. Like I don't want to be mean and be like, I don't want to fuck with you. Because then he's going to be like, why? Yeah. I don't want to go through that. Well, well, I mean, the good thing is, is that he's a sneaky link. So you can sneak off. I'm trying. This bitch done pulled up on my crib. You showed him where you stayed? <laughs> you never show us. I've been knowing him. Like, I'm 47. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait. I'm 47. I've been knowing him since I was 12. So he been there. So you need to move to stay. You yeah. To stay. So I've been, I reconnected with him like seven years ago, but he recently told me that years. he slept with his lady. Y'all been for yeah. seven years. Yeah, because I was married for nineteen years. I left my ex husband, and you know, when I want to get my back scratched, I go that much. I'm really exclusive about what I do, what I do, what I do with my thing. Oh, so you were cheating on your husband? No, I never cheated on my old man with him. No, 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 no. Never cheated on my old man with him. Okay. But when I left uh, my old man, I, I hooked he, back up with him. Is he married to the lady though? Yeah. Well, that's his wife, you know. Like you can't. 
Come that's on, why he man. said he did it because that's his wife. If if she had those needs, he got to fulfill them. He Ugh. really do though. He really she want to go out with some things. I mean, can you at least put your feelings aside? What do you no. expect him to do? If it was your husband and he said, "Baby, please, just like one more time, take the diaper off one more time," you know, you would wash that dish over water and suck that into the grate. You would do it. Oh my god, that's so disgusting though. It may be disgusting, but like, listen, it's like, until death do us part. I just need to know, like, I hope what you need to know. He does watch this show. If you do watch this show, then you know who you are. I don't want to be your star no more. That's just what I am. Bye, Tony. Bye, Tony. Bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye. 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 What the hell? So, yeah, she called. She playing and joking, joking and playing. That's a 50 year old woman, man. Shout out to Lamb when she said these people really don't care about their image at all. No, no, they don't. Mm. They they just plan. That's a 50-year-old woman up here talking about talking about a, adultery and just sickness. Just sick. Says at the end of the day, he's married, he's still married, and she's not. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's insane. People come up here. This is what happens whenever the gynocracy goes unchecked for so long. You get women that that are strong, handsome boys come up here talking bad about a married man. And they come here looking like a whole bull dagger. A few moments later. <laughs> I'm trying to make this short. Okay. I've had a sugar daddy. Since I was 24 years old. We like sugar daddy. Shout out to the sugar daddy. There we yeah. Go. And he has been like so good to me. He has taken care of me like through everything. I can't believe he even mm. put up with me all these years. It's been like, I think this like, this makes nine years already. Nine years. A sugar daddy. That's a relationship. Mm. Okay. So like I said, I can't believe he put up with me all these years. So What's, wrong? What's the problem? Fast forward to the pandemic. My dumb ass being a selfish bitch. <laughs> I end up getting back with my ex. And moving to Miami with him, it didn't work out. And so I came back and he picked me up from the airport. When I got back, he made sure I had my apartment straight, my car, everything, you know? Okay. And um, one day he sits me down and he tells me that he's been seeing this girl in the Philippines, right? Mm -hmm. And so at first I didn't take it serious because I'm just like, this girl way across, way across the world. He's never going to meet this girl. She probably finessed him anyway. So I've come to find out she was real and then he ended up going to see her. So when he came back, he was just like, okay, well, I'm going to go through with the visa. So when he tell me that he's going to go through with the visa, I'm just like, damn, this is serious. Like he really about to move this bitch over here. So I already know like when she does get over here, I'm not going to be able to call him and it's not going to be the same because he's going to be focused on her and he's not going to be focused on me anymore. And it's just like, should I just let him go and be happy? Because I've, I've been, I haven't been the best in the last nine years. I haven't been like the best person to him. So should I just let him go and be happy with this girl, even though he, she probably finessing him? Or should I fuck it up? And <laughs> I don't know. I mean, has he wanted to make things official with you? He always wants to make things official with me. I've just been a selfish bitch for real. Well, I mean, baby, you kind of you kind of did it to yourself. I know. So even if you fucked it up, it's not going to work because he's been trying to make it work with you for nine years and you still calling him a sugar daddy even on the show. So you used yeah. him, abused him, emotionally scarred him, and now you mad that he's happy? Is he happy? That ain't for you to find out. Men do what they're supposed to do. They protect and provide. He was doing that for nine years, and you played him like the trick he was. But now somebody that saw his worth, and now all of a sudden you see the worth because it's gone. <laughs> so you well, I, was younger, got... I was younger then. I'm older now. No, no, no. Nine years, girl. I mean, he still. You here. miss that. Let's just, just be honest. You miss that motherfucking money, don't you? You don't even miss a dick. I don't miss the money because it's still here. Like, he's still taking care of me now. But I just know when she gets here, he's not, he's going to have to focus on her and her family. Exactly. So he's not going to be able to give you as much as you were getting. So basically, he's phasing you out. So you think I should let it go? Oh, uh, he gone. But he's still here. Mm -mm, he gone. If she coming, I still got a key to his house and everything. It doesn't right? matter. If she coming, you gone. But the visa ain't went through yet, Sasha. Doesn't matter. Matters at the heart. This is wild. It's matters at Man, this that 304 talk, man. Why <laughs> you just told that fantastic ass lie? 
in here. Here we go. Oh. I love this. This is it. Oh man, this made my night here. The narcissist in full display. She said, Tasha, this guy Ben won't me, always been there for me, still taking care of me, but I haven't been the best. Translation, I've been out here giving my cuda cat away to everybody but him and just wilding. Probably even gave him the clap. Who knows? And But now he done found a woman. He done told me. He done let me know. He done informed me that it's about to be over. She said, Tasha, now, should I let it go and just let him be happy? You know, since he's been wanting to be me and I just kept stringing him along, taking all this bread and time. Or should I go mess up what he got? Should I go screw up his whole situation? Should I go blow up his spot? Throw this funky cooter cat on him and leave my nasty drawers over his house? Y'all know how, whatever the case may be. Should I get him caught up? That's what she said. Should I let him be happy? Or get them caught up so I can get my way. <laughs> and then she started off by saying, yeah, it's just complete selfish. She's saying, what if this girl come over here and be finessing him? You finessing him. Yeah. Boom, Takalaka. You already doing You talking about, yeah, because <laughs> what if she come over and start finessing him? Y'all all finessing this brother. I promise you. That's all. Yeah, if we could lay eyes on the fact that he's been dealing with you, her, you know what I'm saying? All nine years, this is a po pathetic brother. He pathetic. He is. And he's not going to be able to trust you. All of a sudden, now you see somebody else in the picture is when you want him. He ain't going to fuck with you like that. And yeah, you may still have a key to his house. You may have all those things because he was trying to let you know that's where he wanted to be and he wanted you to be there. But you just didn't want that. You wanted the money. So he gave you the money, probably still giving you the money, but he going to get what he need emotionally from this other woman. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm How old like are you now? I'm 33 now. Yeah, now you're ready for marriage and kids. Huh? Yeah. Mm. You know how to find somebody else to do that with. Oh, man. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And you love them, don't you? Yeah, I love them. Oh, well, you fucked that up. Now you know what love <laughs> is. And you know what to look for in a man. Ooh. And you know but how to recognize the signs that he, he laid out the blueprint of what a, what a, what a man you know, when he loves you, what he's supposed to do. And he now gave I you have to start back dating and stuff. And yeah. Ugh. Yeah. And I'm already spoiled. It's just like, well, he, is, is he white? He's all white. Ugh, yeah. He's white. Tasha. Exactly. You don't fuck up with that. You don't saw that interview with that white man with Naja on my, on, on Tasha K live.com. And then you saw how he was spoiling her and flying her everywhere. And she the wife now. So now you, you want to do that too. Girl, just go find you. I'm ready now. Yeah. Just go find you another with some good credit. They out there and they love, they love black women. Okay. You fumble the bag. All right, girl. All right, bye-bye. Thanks. Oh, so there you go. She fumbled. So there you go. John Hancock, he came through. All right, Bill Cartwright. He met, he out here tricking. He got a trick bill. And Man, yeah. You know what? That's funny. You know, I talked to a brother not too long ago, a Caucasian brother. They got him a wife from the Philippines, from the Philippines. Hey, y'all better stop playing, man. And she was so mad. Tasha K gave her a little bit of reality. Said, it's over. It's over. You fumbled that. Yeah, MJ. She fumbled Zaddy. <laughs> she fumbled him. He gone. He done got him something feminine, fit. She most likely fit. And she was playing him. It's over. 33 to hit the wall. She got exactly what she deserved. Nothing.